All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your resident dazzling urbanite, aka the murder whistle. As you can see, what are you? <coughs> you might be able to see today. We're gonna be watching the movie The Naked Guy. The only thing I know about the Naked Guy is got Leslie Nielsen in it, and oddly, it got OJ Simpson in it. And to me, for some reason, I find that hilarious. I mean, I know he popped it back in the day, but it's I really don't know what the Naked Gun is about. I'm assuming it's a cop movie. I know it's going to be silly because um, Leslie Nielsen, I know he's a funny dude. With that being said, I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all to hit that like and subscribe for me. Also, don't forget that bell notification. Don't forget the link down in the description. It's a link to the Patreon. Over there, you'll find all my full-length YouTube videos. For all, all my full of reactions to all the videos I posted on YouTube, you will see exclusive TV shows, and there's some exclusive movies over there as well. Also, you'll have um, you'll be part of the decision making on what I watch on Fridays because the polls we have for my Friday movie is over there on the Patreon. Um, with that being said, I want to give a shout out to our VIP Patreons, um, Leslie Trey. John, Harold, Becca, June, and her beautiful dog, Missy, Brandon, Big Al, Robin, um, John DePatrick, Simon X, um, Lost Opportunity, and Cody Stoudemire. I just want to thank y'all for being VIPs. I want to thank everybody else for being part of the family as well. We appreciate all the love and support y'all give here. We thank y'all. But with that being said, we're ready to get into this movie. So I'll see y'all on the other side. Let's get it. Before we jump to this movie, I want to draw your attention to something. I have a piece of artwork hanging. I'm telling them about it. Robinson decided to tell you about it. It's a piece of artwork from Movie Palette. Movie Palette will go to your favorite movie and put it into an artwork like that. Each stripe of color. It's a different scene in the movie. Each strike is the main dominant color that's in that scene. This right here gives you an artistic way to share the movie with people that you love. If you think it's pretty cool and it's something you like, all you got to do is head over to moviepalette.com, search for whatever movie you like. They got plenty of choices. They even do customers. So if there's one not listed, you can get one made for you. The other cool thing about it is I have a promo code for you to where you get 15% off. The promo code is SCREAM15. Just like the movie. The movie SCREAM15 all together. You get a 15% discount. It helps out me and it helps out the channel. Hop on over to moviepilot.com and check those out. They got plenty of them. With that being said, back to our regular scheduled program. few hostages is not sufficient. The Americans must be made to suffer. Our the solution is not bold enough for Libya. Cowards no longer willing to fight. <laughs> I'm mad that I'm dolo by himself fighting. <laughs> I will always picture that from now on. Hey, who are you? I'm Lieutenant Frank Drebin, police squad. And don't ever let me catch you guys in America. This is loud. I do not remember cop cars with the little thing like that. I've never seen that until um, Beverly Hills Cop. Oh, they trippers. This is let me know this movie's super silly. That in the opening. So is OJ the bad guy? Because that would be hilarious. 
is all. I love you. All 40 kilos. Final ship to be delivered in three days. I'm so sad. I was really hoping he was a bad guy. Please! Throw down your guns! Hey, bro, you are a f Kill him. Why would we have to wait for permission? Man. He done done two or three things hurt. Probably just as bad as some bullets. Oh, oh OJ did. Y'all done done OJ like Woody Harrelson. <laughs> no country for old men. Is it true what you wrote me about, Victoria? I'm afraid so, Frank. She just ran off with some guy. And you, you came down here to get the hot story, didn't you? Do any of you understand? How a man can hurt. That shit ain't for him, is it? All right, they're not here for you. Weird Al Yankovic is on the plane. Shut the fuck up. I ain't seen Weird Al in years. Not gonna be easy. Everywhere I look, something reminds me of her. That's amazing. What about Nordberg? Doctors say he's got a 50 50 chance of living, though there's only a 10% chance of that. I mean, his math ain't math. Man, shut the f up. Oh, dude, you supposed to be dead, bro. Nordberg, me. Get the switch on the bottom of the bed. There's so much wrong with that. I mean, I'm just saying, if 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 we are. If we boys and all, and my face accidentally touch your crotch, one of us got to die. We can't, we can't, <laughs> we cannot go off being friends after that. Somebody's got to die. Heroin. Heroin, Frank. That's a pretty tall order. You're going to have to give me a couple of days on that one. There's no way for a man to die. A parachute not opening, that's a way to die. Getting caught in the gears of a combine. Having your nuts bit off by a Laplander, that's the way I want to go. We have different dreams. Your husband is going to be all right. Don't you worry about anything. <laughs> oh, God, I f hate snot. Oh, my God. Whatever scum did this, not one man on this force will rest for one minute until he's behind bars. Now let's grab a bite to eat. Yeah, come on. We have placed the Queen's security in the hands of police squad. I mean, he's drinking the out that water. Fire! You can use my radio mic. Thank you. And we can all take pride that the Queen has... <laughs> Hey, that's happened at a school before. No, it wouldn't have a school. I worked at a grocery store and we had like little intercoms and stuff that you talk to over the thing. And uh, um, the head manager of the building went to go take a sh with that mic on. And he was broadcasting his <laughs> all over the store. You want to take a dinghy? No, no, I took care of that at the press conference. Does it make sense, you know? Good policeman, bright future. Hey, that's amazing. Yeah. Lieutenant Revan, police squad. You familiar with that face? My memory ain't so great. Oh, yeah? Maybe this will refresh your memory. I don't know, it's still kind of hazy. Why do you want to know? I can't tell you that. Well, maybe this will help. I really don't think I should. Yeah, you still don't think so. So what are you going to do about it, copper? Well, why should I tell you? Maybe this will help. I still don't think I should tell you. You spot me a 20? How about now? And that's great. Lieutenant Drevin to see you, sir. Show him in. Lieutenant, the feeling is mutual. Uh, Cuban? Uh, no. Dutch-Irish. 
My father was from Wales. I hate to confuse the hell out of that man. Uh, this uh, is valued at over $20,000. For a fing fish? Why do a fish cost that much? This is a rare samurai pen, a gift from Emperor Hirohito. I wish I would pay $20,000 for a fing fish. That fish better talk to me. Better walk my dogs and everything. I'm investigating the attempted murder of one of your dog workers. Oh, he up. He's in the intensive care ward at Our Lady of the Worthless Miracle. Of the Worthless Miracle. This type of thing lightly. And there is no room in my organization <laughs> for any type of criminal activity. I'm telling you, man, he can't get you. Has this officer, um, uh, what's his name? Uh... Oh, he's killed a fish. Will you please send in Miss Spencer? Yes, sir. I'll have my assistant provide you with anything you need. I don't know why his hair bothered me, though. My pleasure. Hello, Mr. Trevin. Hello. Oh! She broke her f***ing neck. She was giving me a look I could feel in my hip pocket. This was starting to get interesting. Hey, she clumsy as f Nice beaver. Thank you. I just had it stuffed. Let me help you with that. <sighs> this should be what you're looking for, Lieutenant. That's amazing. It's dangerous. It is. That's why I carry a big gun. Aren't you afraid it might go off accidentally? I used to have that problem. And what did you do about it? I just think about baseball. I mean, as I think about baseball, he'd be in there doing that point hub move called buffering. How about dinner? I know this little out of the way place that serves great Viking food. Do people eat Viking food? What the f is Viking food? Like, I feel like they got a place where they, they really serve food like way Vikings used to eat it. Jane, I realize this is an unusual request. That's why I want you to to get to know Lieutenant Drebin a little better. Oh, he's ain't going to be a hoe. Oh, he got a little wine stain in him, don't he? You got those fiber samples yet? We got some action out here. Testing that new anti-graffiti wall. Hey, they should make those for real. What you my boys think of next? Now that you mention it. Man, shut the f*** up. You see these cufflinks I'm wearing? Each one fires a single pin-sized dart. Here, let me demonstrate on air. Huh? Why? Why do they have some change box? Oh, yeah, I can see it now. We tested it. Hey, man, he breaks everything. Uh, Mr. Papschmere is here. Let's show him in. $20,000. Well, f***ing fish. I can carry out your request. The price is $20 million. The price is not a problem. If $20 million ain't a problem, I'm up in the price. I'd like to see Officer Nordberg. Where's the police officer who's a guard at that door? I must kill Nordberg. I must kill Nordberg. Let go of that fellow! <laughs> And now OJ up! Police squad! Follow that black car! Signal. Now pull into traffic. That's great. Hey, I had one of them! That's a Corsica. That's a Chevy Corsica. I had a Chevy Corsica. At least it looked like a Corsica. It might not be a Corsica. My car used to cut off when it rains. You drive through mud puddles or anything. It was ghetto as f. Oh, oh thanks for playing. Y'all about to die. Put it in reverse. You dumb brud. Gently extend your arm. Extend your middle finger. Very good. Well done. Hey, best driving ed teacher ever.
This is a real life cartel. Who is this character in the hospital? And why was he trying to kill Nordberg? Nah, hopscotch. I didn't have any proof, but somehow I didn't entirely trust him either. Did he know about it? And if he didn't, who did? And where the hell was I? I was wondering the same. Oh, he a bad man. He a little extra. He a bad man. You're late. Listen, you bad at all, but... I'm boiling a roast. If I come home, you just in my kitchen, in my shirt, cooking, we're going to have an issue. That's some toxic level shit I'm not ready for. Hmm, interesting. Almost as interesting as the photographs I saw today. I was young. I needed the work. No, no. Oh, she had only OnlyFans. Oh, he got one of them ready suits. I want you to know it. Practice safe sex. I'm glad sex don't work that way. I would never do it. Call it what you will, a hunch, woman's intuition. A hunch won't stand up in court, Frank. What? Why are they wearing lipstick? Tried to knock Nordberg off in the hospital. That may be. What are you eating? See you in the morning. <laughs> what the f are those? Bingo. I gotta remember this. This movie is silly. Twenty million deposited on Manny Bank Zurich upon proof of. Oh, he got the lid on fire. Yeah! Oh, he is f***ing up. Hey, this dude ain't it. I would just get caught. I'm not going down on the ledge. I don't, I don't care. Oh, he hold on by dick. A concrete dildo. I don't want any more trouble like you had last year on the south side. That's my policy. Well, when I see five weirdos stabbing a guy in the middle of the park, I shoot the bastards. That's my policy. That was a production of Julius Caesar, you moron. You killed five actors. He still got a job? Comes to the Queen, Ken, as she begins her first visit to the Los Angeles area. Uh, that's f***ing nasty. Jane. Frank. I'm not going to comment on it. I think there's something you should know. I was up in Vincent Ludwig's place last night. Did he show you his priceless collection of Ming vases and all those rare oil paintings? Yeah, he f***ed all that up. He wants you to meet him at the 7th Street Stockyards, near the 53rd Street entrance. But you promise me that you'll be careful. Of course I will, funny face. Did she set him up? Have something to eat. Hey, bro. Hey. I don't know if he got roaches, but something was moving. I wasn't going there, bro. That's where they make the Joker at. I have a message for you from Vincent Ludwig. I'm sorry I can't hear you. Don't fire the gun while you're talking. Hey, man, shut the f*** up. Your There's some Batman shit right here. <laughs> I thought that's how they made a Joker. Are you enjoying yourself, my dear? Oh, Mr. Ludwig, I'm so excited to be here. Trevor. Frank. You're both right. 
Gloves are off. I'm playing hardball. It's fourth and 15, and you're looking at a full court press. They don't go together. Funny face. I don't know what you're talking about. My stockyard meeting, butter wings. Butter wings. Hey, I can't wait till I start talking to a chick again. I'm calling her butter wings. And I'm never going to explain to her why. My little butter wings. <laughs> Oh, shit. I was only doing what I was told to do. Like make love to me? Hey, she slapped the f*** out of him. Please believe me. Vincent Ludwig and I, there was never anything between us. He likes East German men. And what about you? I like cops. Hey, shoot and shoot! I've loved you since the first day I met you, and I'll never stop. Say so toxic. Hello, everybody. I'm Kurt Gowdy, along with Jim Palmer, Dick Vitale, Dick Emberg, and Dr. Joyce Brothers. Did Dick Vitale ever do baseball? As we all know, this game is being attended by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. I ought to go down and arrest Ludwig right now. Without any evidence, we've got to let him make the first move. I've got to find a way to get down there in that field and search those players. <laughs> it would be spicy in her seat, though. So our head usher will be here in two minutes to take you on to the field. He should be here now, do you understand? Yes, sir. I am the head usher. Ah, I'm here to... Excuse me. <laughs> Mr. Palazzo? Yes? I'm the head usher. One second. I'm not this man doing. Please welcome internationally renowned opera star Enrico Palazzo. Let us honor America. As Mr. Palazzo will sing our national anthem. This is about to be amazing. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly And he hasn't touched a note. He's still doing better than Fergie. And the land of God. Oh, excuse me. Is this an official bat? He just knocking everybody out, ain't he? We're gonna do this today. Do what? Oh, a play ball! Frank about to the game up. Oh, that's gross. Don't worry, Al. If one of those players is the killer, Frank is going to find him. This about to be another Tuesday. Strike. The man forgot he was going to call the game. Frank has been so extra this whole movie. Frisk everybody. I'm gonna have my men on the alert, but you're gonna have to stall them. Don't let them get that third out. Right in. Oh. oh! Catch it! Ah. Hey, he up for that. Block the play! Hey! Save! 
And this is amazing. Hey, you're not supposed to do that! Hey, wait a minute! Stop that! Apparently, the umpires have got Frashoni in a rundown. I wish this would happen in a real game. It's the third out. I must kill the queen. I must kill the queen. Frank is the right fielder! You're the finest umpire I've ever seen! We got a good under the base! Let's get a Reggie, man! So they said Reggie. So is that Reggie Jackson? Because that's who I thought it was. Why are you biting that man like that? I must kill the queen. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, that's a lot of meat falling. Oh, he saved the queen's life. That's not the umpire, Your Honor. Hey, it's Enrico Palazzo! Hey, that's amazing! Hold on, Doc, wait! You ruined my life, Trevin. Now I'm going to ruin yours. Two well, can play at that game. You killed him. No, no. He's yeah. just stunned. He'll be all right in a couple of minutes. Oh! Oh no, he did. Well. Oh, that's so disrespectful. And that's disrespectful. As so you were a watch, you just screwed. I must kill Frank Trevor. No, no, don't shoot. Oh, that shoot her. Up there. You love Frank Drebin. And Frank Drebin loves you. Hey, we'd have shot her. I don't care. I've known her a week. I don't know if she really loved me. And maybe the problems of two people don't amount to a hill of beans, but this is our hill. And these are our beans. I love his voice, though. I bought something for you. It's an engagement ring. I would have given it to you earlier, but I wanted to wait until we were alone. Huh. All I'm saying is, she put that thing thing on him. My man bought an engagement ring after a week. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> it's a puppy. There's someone else here who wants to thank you. Norbert! Hiya, buddy! Hey. No, Jay. Whoa! Come, oh, Frank. Everyone should have a friend like you. Oh, Jay began f with this whole movie. He deserved it. But <laughs> that's funny as hell. Alright, so just got finished watching Nick again. I have to say, it was times I was watching it that I kept forgetting. It's a silly ass movie. <laughs> like, so I'll be waiting for some shit to happen. Then something else totally what happened. Now I'm just like, gotta remember it's a silly movie. But um can't lie. I liked it. Like I, I really did like this movie. If it's, it's not laugh out loud funny as I was hoping, but it was still funny. I like the quick one-liners and the real quick. I can't was it quips? Quips. What are, what are you I don't know what they call I know what they're called, but I don't know quips. Quips. Is that the word? I like the real quick back and forth or the little one liners they throw in there real quick. And you know what I'm saying? You can miss real easy. I love shit like that because I think shit like that's funny. Like when I talk to my friends and stuff, like when we crack jokes and stuff, we do shit like that. I like, I think that's hilarious. It never took itself seriously. Like some satires, we like try to be like serious, 
or like it went like spoof movies like this. Some of them have like a little serious element about it, but not one time did this ever take itself seriously. I love Leslie Nielsen in it. I love the fact that OJ kept getting fucked up the whole movie. I don't know why, but it brought me some pleasure. <laughs> like, like it brought me pleasure. Like OJ has personally did some shit to me, but like, I was love to see the fact that he was getting fucked up. OJ had one shot a moment in the movie. The rest of the movie, a he was taking ills. It was a beautiful thing. <laughs> I still don't know what he's doing in this movie. I can see like why people say Leslie Nelson in this movie is funny. Like I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> it was so many dick jokes in this movie too. I, I love the opening too. Like I love the opening with the the cop car. I thought that was I thought that was really clever. But um, um, if you didn't do it for me earlier. Hit that like subscribe for me. Don't forget that bell notification. Don't forget the link down in the description. It's the link to our Patreon. I'm going to get off here so I can take these babies outside so I can go potty. You see how the head popped up? Y'all see that? Yeah, we're going. We're going to go potty, okay? <laughs> he said bye. Night, night.